We spend in Michigan more than $24 billion a year importing fossil fuels. It's not effective and it's not efficient. And if we keep doing it at this rate, we will run out of fossil fuels. Historically, it's what we had to do because the technology wasn't there. The price of electricity is going up. Out with the old, in with the new. We're going to have to look to new sources of energy production. And of course, we want that energy production to be economical, we want it to be reliable, and we want it to be efficient. Can Michigan be Michigan green? There isn't a certain element of these of, of some elegance. Uh, I, I don't think I'm overstating it. These are these are fun to watch. Uh, they, they're kind of like kinetic sculptures, if you will. You can think of these tanks as really huge stomachs. Thin film is expected in the very near future be cost competitive with the electricity coming from the grid. As we run out of fossil fuels, there's a huge market that is just, we haven't even touched the surface of it yet. What does green really mean? Green is alternative energy. It was really an effort to take the latest technology and, and make it work in the building. Over time, conditions will change that you, you've got to keep looking at these different uh, alternative power sources. Green is renewable energy. The manure from these animals can produce up to 700 kilowatts per hour of electricity. This is renewable energy. <laughs> Every single day we produce it and we continuously cycle the crops to the cows, to the manure, to the energy the crops to the cows. It's just one nice closed circle. And green is clean energy. The environment is where you're gonna get the biggest impact because for every one turbine uh, that you have on your home, for every turbine, every year, you'll offset one ton of coal. Green is also the color of money. I kind of look at it like this. You know, you have Chrysler, you have General Motors, you have Ford. I'm the company that wants to bring the Toyota of solar to the United States and bring them to here to Michigan. New jobs. It's important to recognize that our state is struggling uh, and if we can do a little bit in terms of uh, partnership with other organizations to make, uh, make revenue generate for those businesses and for us, that's great. New growth. These projects are a tremendous opportunity for economic growth and job activity. For this project alone, we worked with numerous local companies. Yes, there are construction jobs, but as you look around this project, you'll see a tremendous amount of technical sophistication. New opportunities doing what Michigan does best. And if there's anybody in this room that doesn't believe that we have the best technology, the best workers, and the best environment to manufacture right here in Michigan, anywhere in the world, then change your mind now because we're going to show you different. Are we ready as a state to seize upon these new opportunities? I think it's really going to turn into a race of sorts, you know, and we do have an incredibly small window. Is the race to a renewable energy future one that we can afford to lose? You know, we've got great workers in Michigan. We have available capacity, factory space, and we've got uh, tremendous drive to make this part of our way to diversify the state. So it's very, you know, it's really the moment is just ripe.